I'm real lucky, Dave. We're going to talk about something called Centerville, Dave. A lot of you are going, I don't even know what it is. Well, we're going to fill in all the uh, blanks for you and make it real easy. Carol, thank you for joining us today. I'm sure it's Jeff fun. Strait dragged you down here screaming and yelling. No, no, although I, I tend to like to put our volunteers uh, in this spotlight, but happy to be here. Oh, thank you for coming. Now, tell everybody who you are, what you do for the town, and then we're going to talk about this wonderful event called Centerville Day. My name is Carol D'Agostino, and I am the Main Street Manager for the Town of Centerville. Uh, the Main Street program is a national program. Mm -hmm. There's only one designated Main Street in Queen Anne's County. Okay. There's about 33 throughout the state. Uh, the purpose of Main Street is to revitalize our downtown and to help our business community as a whole. Uh, part of that role is to bring folks into the town okay. and uh, event certainly do uh, add a revitalization aspect. So okay. uh, I work on a couple of events throughout the year and one of them is Centerville Day. So the whole thing is to help the town, uh, to help our businesses and to help the community, just make it a delightful place to live like it is, right? Absolutely. And every event I see you, I saw you there at the first Friday event running around. I don't think there's any time I go to a Centerville event, you're not there putting up chairs, helping with the trash cans, plus running the thing, right? So, which is good. Now, tell us about this wonderful event, which I didn't know is 10 years old, mm -hmm. Centerville Day. You want to give us a little history and what it is and why people should go to it? So, it's a free family festival. Okay. Uh, folks can come, enjoy all the activities for free. If they want to spend a little money, they can buy something from vendors or, and uh, food vendors as well. Now, tell me about the, f we'll make it, let's go to the food vendors. Who's there? Who do you have? So, um, Sure Good Eats will be there, Ken okay. Island Crab Cakes, okay. and oh, let's see, our third is uh, Aretha's Creative Touch, and uh, we're working on a fourth one, so I might have a surprise. A little surprise. Now, where? I mean, in Centerville, the court school, where, where are we in Centerville? Where does it take place? So, uh, our footprint for the event is the front and back of the courthouse square. Okay. Um, the old, old courthouse, yes. beautiful white building now, which is being a blend of white and uh, yes. the natural brick. It looks yep. pretty. And we always use Lawyers Row, which we close to traffic. Okay. Um, New this year is we're also closing down Broadway. Oh, okay. Yes. You're getting bigger. Well, we had a couple uh, strategic purposes for that. Mm -hmm. Our guests tend to be under 12 years old okay. who can't be vaccinated. So we took great strides in Spread making sure out. that we decentralized the event while not taking anything away from the quality of it. Well, good. So there's food there. Now, what are the events for kids? Since you said you got a lot of kids running oh, around. Oh, yeah. So the back end of the courthouse facing Liberty, the Liberty Building, is a kid zone. We okay. have pumpkin painting, pumpkin bowling. Oh, wow. You actually have pumpkins. Absolutely. Okay. We have 325. Um, and <laughs> to be exact. They yeah. are... Uh, Something tells me you probably carried those in. No, Excuse me. No, not okay. I. Okay. Okay. Uh, but they uh, are available free of charge. So oh, wow. kids can come and... Get a free pumpkin. That's right. They can paint their pumpkins there, uh, put them out to dry while they enjoy the rest of the event. So the back end of the courthouse okay. is our kids' uh, kids zone. And uh, throughout the front of the courthouse, we'll have uh, various vendors, probably about 25 to 30. Oh, wow. Um, in addition to our food vendors. And these are all folks that are either social service agencies that serve families or people who have products and uh, various other things that they'd like families to enjoy. Uh, and um, we have a baking competition. Oh, so. Wow. We have the finals for the Great Centerville Day uh, cookie contest. Mr. Strait is a judge, I know. Oh, no, he no, isn't. Okay. He isn't. And Please that, make him one. Please that is a uh, enviable position. Oh, I bet People it is. I'm putting my up. name on the list. Okay. So the, the judges hold on to that and do it no, I bet they year. do. I bet they so do. what happens is the uh, planning committee, which is a great group of volunteers, mm -hmm. Uh, throughout Queen Anne's County who have been working on this event will come and uh, next Tuesday they're actually going to uh, look at all the recipes and whittle it down to five contestants. All right. So at the event we'll have uh, the finals. That sounds like fun. Three yeah. judges yeah. and I'm telling you Bragging rights and the top prize is $100 and a trophy. Oh, boy, that's great. You so, get $100 and a trophy. Oh, absolutely. Oh, boy, that's a good deal. So uh, everyone gets a cash prize as well as a trophy or a ribbon. And then at 1 o'clock, we have uh, the idol competition. So that is a talent show. Again, 
cash prizes for that as well. Mm -hmm. uh, and we have a stage with an MC, so we'll have music throughout. But this is really a time, and uh, what's particularly gratifying about this is every year someone will, you know, tap the shoulder of a volunteer or myself and say, you know, I, I have a family of four or five. Typically, I can't come to events because by the time I pay an entry fee, oh. I have no money. A yeah, hundred dollars, a couple hundred bucks, yeah. yes. So this is uh, this all free. Uh, this is all free. But you can't beat that. No. Hey, Carol, uh, if people, you mentioned vendors. If mm -hmm. someone's out there watching this and say, hey, look, at, is, is it still possible to become a vendor or a table or not? Uh, it, it technically is closing We've closed today, our day. okay. Um, but there is something I do want to talk to please, about, which is please. new uh, this year. We'll be closing off Broadway, as we okay. had mentioned. Right. That's going to be a gaming area. So we're calling it Scary Games on Broadway, oh, just yeah. for the decorations, not <laughs> that they're scary games. Okay. Uh, one of those uh, aspects is what we're calling Centerville Land. And Centerville it's kind Land, of, okay. Yes, it's a... Uh, kind of a, a takeoff of Candyland. Oh, it sounds good. And it will be a large, giant board uh, that will be right on the street that the kids will play, roll giant dice and move around uh, and win prizes. And oh, wow. we'll also have a Pac-Man tournament, some arcade games, and also uh, check and Chester's. Uh, so lots of things to yes. keep the kids busy. And, and of all ages. Of so all ages. Regardless of, you know, someone that wants to likes Pac-Man, and we're probably going to have to beat away the fathers uh, on that <laughs> one. Right. The kids are going to go eat the yes. food while the dads play. So you often see entire families of all ages attending this event. So oh, good. it's uh, really gratifying. We were talking with the Churchill Theater before you came on. I think we learned with the first Friday event the other night, or I learned anyway, people were tired of being home for the last year and a half or whatever. They want to break out. And I think a lot of these events like Centerville, I bet you have the biggest crowd you've ever had. One, based on the, all the hard work you've done and the stuff you're going to have there. Plus, people have had cabin fever for, what, two years. Uh, events like this are going to be fun. Yes, and, and we always draw a pretty uh, large audience for this. Uh, we will have hand sanitizer and... Uh, various a lot of safety stations. protocols. Okay. We are spacing out all our tables. We have okay. removed some items of the event that we felt wouldn't be able to do safely. Mm -hmm. um, so we have COVID protocols, but we've added so much to it as well. Oh, good. Sounds and, fun. Uh, I just wanted to say that mm -hmm. none of this would be possible without the core of volunteers that we have working on this plus our corporate sponsors who offset the cost. And you have a list of I corporate sponsors. And Carol, on this show, you can read off of any list you want. You can read off of my list if you want to, but let's make sure all these wonderful people yes. have helped you. And this is you. as of today. Now, okay. I don't know, uh, we, we may have some more checks coming in, but okay. as of today, uh, Queenstown Bank, Shore United Bank, Cal Gray the third. Now, Cal's mm -hmm. been doing this a while. He was our... Uh, Harvest pumpkin sponsor this year, oh, so we were able to get those pumpkins because oh, of Oh, for that. him. Oh, he bought all those pumpkins. Good. And uh, Rosendale Realty, uh, Davis Moore Sheeran and Associates, the Kent School, Lane Engineering, Queen Anne's County Library, and Y River Upper School. If people would like to, at this time, right, give you a contribution or give you a check or say, this is going to be such a, f can they still do that? Don't they can they? still do that because I will be uh, getting some uh, last minute do stuff done so that okay. we can get the proper signage at the event. And, so yes, uh, and the thing to emphasize is you don't really need to meet a particular category. If you'd okay. like a particular category, you can. However, any gift is, is much appreciated. appreciated. Yes, absolutely. Who they send it, help them out. If they're out there right now, the checkbook's closed, and they say, you know what, yeah, let's, let's support this with a check. Who do they send it to, or whom do they send it to, and where? They can send me an email at okay. MainStreetAtTownOfCenterville.org, okay. or give me a call at 410-758-1180, extension 17. And just so that they'd like to be a corporate sponsor, uh, sponsor, I'll circle back to them and make sure that they're acknowledged appropriately. Okay, and we can still, we have plenty of time to do that, all right? Yep, up yep. until okay. Monday. Okay, well, that's all right. <laughs> yes. It's going to be a long weekend for you, I have a feeling, Carol, you're in trouble, okay? Now, let's take a little second break here. So let's remind everybody, Centerville Day, when? Mm -hmm. 
What's the date? Saturday, October 23rd from okay. 11 to 3. 11 to 3, so nice sunlight hours. They're going to be beautiful fall weather. Probably going to wear hoodies after this weekend, mm. but it's going to be perfect. Location? We're at the historic Courthouse Square and Lawyers Row and Broadway. Okay. Plenty of parking. They can park all around town, right? I mean, and just it's easy to walk to. Right. You have a special kids section. You're going to have food. There's entertainment for people of all ages, right? Absolutely. Which will be which will be kind of nice. And the idea, and you're going out of your way to be conscious of the fact that COVID virus is still a concern, mm -hmm. spreading things out a little bit. There'll be clean, hand sanitizer. So you're doing all the precautions you can with that, okay? Correct. In fact, every vendor is required to have hand sanitizer at their booth. Oh, it's so um, right at the booth, and okay. And it's uh, available to, to folks who are passing by. So that way, if, if anyone feels uncomfortable, they certainly have that opportunity everywhere throughout the event okay. site. And you're outside. That's a nice, I mean, you were outside. So we're not inside a building where some people have concerns. We're That's outside, right. okay, which is good. Now, Carol, give me a, a couple of minutes here. Give me the history. It's 10 years old. How did, how did this, can you walk me back a little bit? How's it grown? What's the history? So there were two Centerville days that happened prior to Main Street planning it. Okay. Um, those were at the Wharf building, or the Wharf property. The Wharf area, okay. Yeah. Uh, I came in in November of 2012 and was tasked with Centerville Day. And in all honesty, I had no idea. What, <laughs> what are they talking about? So I was just told that, Set, you know, you're in charge of Centerville Day now, and <laughs> uh, we're moving it from the summer to the fall. Okay, sounded good. Yeah. Um, in fact, um, I can remember the first meeting that I had. Uh, I was going around town meeting with stakeholders of Main Street, mm -hmm, who mm -hmm. tend to be uh, either nonprofits or schools or businesses, right. and explaining what Main Street was. I was meeting with uh, Carol Williamson at the time, the superintendent, superintendent of, of Queen Anne's County Public Schools, and explained to her what Main Street was. And um, she said, "Is there any, you know, anything coming up that we could help you out with?" Mm. And all I really had was the name of this event, <laughs> <laughs> but never uh, being at a loss for pitching something mm. to someone who wants to partner with me. I said, yes, in yes. fact, I do. Uh, it's called Centerville Day, and it's a family-friendly event. And so I, I gave a spiel, and uh, she said, great, I have some teachers here meeting for, with uh, uh, us about something else. Can I bring them in? And lo and behold, we kind of had our first volunteer meeting. Okay. One of the volunteers who was at that meeting Natasha Dawson yeah. is still with the group. Okay. And in fact, she does our idol competition, which will be the fifth year for that. So oh, okay. uh, that's kind of how it started for All me. Right. And, and we put the pieces together and molded it into this uh, fall festival. Is it growing every year? Or is it, it kind of stabilized? I mean, technically, uh, people want to be there mm -hmm. uh, for a variety of reasons. So the social service agencies want to be there because I've already gathered their audience for them, so it's kind of a cradle to the grave, kind yes, of, you know, yeah. full families. Uh, and then the uh, folks that are uh, mothers are typically the purse string holders, right. so, which is very attractive to our businesses. So for both our nonprofits and for our businesses, I've gathered the groups that they tend to, to want to do outreach. So it's it's something that people say, Hold a spot for me every year because okay. this is something. It's like that the I county fair, in many ways, right? There's pamphlets to be given out and information, right? It's very interactive. Okay, so um, a lot of a lot of talking going uh, on. Not just that, but activities. So oh, okay. it's not a talk to me at a table. It's mm -hmm. a variety. Everyone is very focused on making sure that the families that come there have fun. Good, good. So it's a fun day. It absolutely. And let's remind everybody, Carol. Let's keep reminding everybody. Okay. Centerville Day, the date is? October 23rd. It's free. It's free. Yes, except for if you want to buy some food or stuff like that, it's mm -hmm. possible. The hours? 11 to 3. Okay, is there a rain date? Yes. It's not going to rain. It's I'm, I'm promise you it's not We don't use the R word in my, my There you go. Business. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's the next day. So, okay, Sunday. so if it does rain, which it won't, there is a rain date all built in. You said the R word twice. I know, right? okay. And Mr. Strait is signaling now, cut it out right now. <laughs> okay. If people are watching and say, hey, this sounds great, okay, uh, who should they call one 
just to, you know, if they, they want more information, just call the town office or call you personally? You can go right on the town website oh, at townofcenterville.org and at the drop down menu, look for Main Street and okay. events, and we have a full page of information. Okay, there. it tells you all about it. Absolutely. And if people would like to say, you know, yes, I would like to make some type of contribution as financially, Again, we can we can still do that, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. Okay, and they contact you? Absolutely. Okay, I want to give you the email you gave, please? It is mainstreet at townofcenterville.org. Okay. And if somebody's listening and say, look, I, I can't, we've run out of time to get a table this year, but, hey, wow, I want to do something for next year. Can they contact you this early? Absolutely. They okay. can uh, just put in the subject subject line of the email, Centerville Day 2022. Okay, and we'll be here before we know it, I think, all right? Don't say that either, I know. <laughs> Time goes by fast enough. <laughs> At my age, you don't know how quick it goes by, Carol. I'm going to warn you, okay? Well, look, this sounds like a wonderful event. Let me just ask, any volunteer, you're volunteer, is there a court, is there a committee? Yes. Do you want to mention any of them or give them a pat on the back or just say the whole committee or what would you like? There's, any, any a, there's a dozen people oh, a dozen. Okay. Who, who really work very hard on this event and, and uh, it's a fun event to be part of. So if you're dying to do some volunteer work, okay. the only rule for any of the events that we produce is that it has to be done well. So uh, we add aspects to this event all the time. Okay. Um, someone will come and say, I've heard of blank, like I never heard of pumpkin bowling before. Uh, and that, Neither have I. <laughs> it was like, what, what are you talking about? Um, and a volunteer came up with that. And I oh, said, uh, every idea is then fleshed out. So someone will bring an idea to the table. Okay. Okay. Uh, at the next meeting, it's their responsibility to flesh it out and explain it to the rest of the group. So it's to the group. And uh, then the group you know, gives input and it's a, a yay or a nay. And then that person is also responsible for being the coordinator of that aspect. Okay. So it's a very uh, great way not to, I think the most exciting volunteer positions are the ones where you have a, an opportunity to provide input and you're not just looked at like freely. Uh, yeah. You know, uh, we love ideas Good. and Good. Uh, we invite folks to join us to do that. At this point, do you need anyone, do you need volunteers like help with, Maybe picking up trash, or maybe setting up tables. Do you need any of those type of volunteers? We at this always point? need a couple uh, additional ones, particularly at the end of the day, because okay. we get really tuckered out. You're tired. So yeah. uh, we get fabulous support from our public works staff, who okay. is is there and provides uh, support. Uh, but towards you know the, the setup time as well as the end of the day are a very uh, important time. So if anyone wants to volunteer, I invite you to call. Town Hall, or email me at Main Street at Town of Centerville. Okay. Park. So if you have a little time, especially like you say at the end when everybody's tired, it's nice to. I mean, I know the event you had last time, uh, help with get some tables unfold because people have been sitting you know, behind the desks and ta or the tables and they're tired. Like you said, it's been a long day and you're outside, right? Mm -hmm. Well, it sounds like a fun event. Any other sh anything else you'd like to talk about? Just that. Um, just know that this community is all about our families. Yes, it is. And um, it, it's nice to see everyone, and that's probably the perk in the day for me is just to see entire families out there together. Um, it's just a very nice event. It's, it's almost old-fashioned in the sense of, like you Absolutely. said, Centerville, it seems like the events that you put on and other people put on, it is, it's family-oriented, very safe, very positive, and you just get to know your community better. Mm -hmm. And that's what we are, because we are a small community. It makes it a little bit nicer. Well, look at Good luck with it. Thank you. I hope everybody out there who's watching this is going to go to Centerville Day. Go put it on your calendar. Carol says you can't get a table this year, but you can, by golly, send her an email and say, hey, I'm ready for next year. Or until Monday, you'll take donations, right? So, right. So and Technically, end of day Monday, I will also take vendor applications. So. Oh, you will? Okay. Yep. Oh, so there's still time, right? And very simple. Okay, so which is good. Well, good luck. It's going to be fun. Uh, Lane will ha have us there, and I'll tell you what, I'll stick around and uh, I help pick up some trash cans for there you. you there you Or the green bags, whatever you give yeah. me. That's about my pay grade, all there right? There you go. Thank you for thank being you. with us, all right? And I thank Mr. Strait for coordinating this whole thing, all right? Great. My name's Fred McNeil. Thank you for watching the show. Carol and I want you to come to Centerville Day. Bring the kids. It sounds like pumpkin bowling, painting pumpkins. It's going to be a lot of fun. You don't have to travel far. You don't have to cross a bridge. No traffic, but we guarantee it's going to be a lot of fun. My name's Fred McNeil. Thank you for watching. My time's up. Thank you for your time. We're going to see you next time.